Hey everyone, Ken here with the Ranking Ball Preview Show for March 11th, 2019. I hope you had a great weekend. Let's go. Here are your standings after last night's games. In the top three, we got Milwaukee, Toronto, and Philadelphia for the East. In the West, we have Golden State, Denver, and Houston. Uh, Oklahoma City is still in there for the top three. Um, but we already we have do we have one more uh, team that has now been knocked out of playoff contention, which is the Cleveland Cavaliers. Here's last night's scores. We have the Bulls over the Pistons, Raptors over the Heat, even though there was a uh, highlight uh, slam dunk that game. Uh, Pacers over the 76ers, Hawks over the Pelicans, Magic over the Grizzlies, Rockets over the Mavs, Nick, sorry, Wolves over the Knicks, Spurs over the Bucks, and a surprising upset with the Suns over the Warriors. Here are tonight's matchups. We have the Raptors at Cavs, Kings at Wizards, Pistons at Nets, Hornets at Rockets, Thunder at Jazz, and the Celtics at Clippers. Sports news. Uh, in the NBA, 76ers superstar Joel Embiid made his return last night against the Indiana Pacers. He scored 33 points with uh, with 15 three throws and 12 rebounds. Um, it's his first night back in uh, 24 days. There's a typo on there. So for about 24 days uh, since he's been out, and uh, you know he came on, come on, fighting strong. Uh, so, you know, welcome back, Joel Embiid. I'm sure the 76ers uh, have missed you. Uh, also, in an unlikely outcome, um, the Phoenix Suns were able to beat the Golden State Warriors last night in uh, kind of a 115 to a 111 matchup game in Golden State. Uh, and there was a lot of kind of, a, so I would say, some tensions from uh, Clay Thompson at the end of the night. Uh, Kevin Durant, Durant did leave the game after uh, hurting his ankle, uh, but Clay Thompson had some words for his team and also for the crowd, saying that there was you know energy. Um, you know, it's got, you kind of have to go. I think Steve Kerr mentioned it earlier with before the season, saying that the team just doesn't have fun anymore, doesn't have any energy. They've got fatigue, uh, winning fatigue, if there is such a thing. So I mean I can understand some things where it's like all right you're you are the number one team you're doing all this winning and so it still doesn't feel like as fun anymore with with all that you kind of like want that excitement you want that chase so but then you know so maybe they put the they let their guard down tonight especially against the Phoenix Suns uh, Phoenix Suns have nothing to really look forward to you know they're already limited from playoff contention they don't have to worry about anything so. They probably felt no pressure tonight. Just probably went in more free than the, uh, more free, and more prepared than the Warriors did tonight. So, uh, we'll see how the outcome outcome came, and uh, kind of surprising to all. Uh, in the NFL, finally done. Uh, Antonio Brown is going to be going over to the Raiders. Uh, last year, we know everyone knows that the Raiders were not doing really, really well last year. Um, and you know he, the Raiders got him for a really good pick, you know, really good price. They got a third and fifth round pick for for the Steelers. So I'm not really sure like why the Steelers let him go for such a low value. Um, anyways, I mean you have Gruden coaching the Raiders. It's been kind of a joke over there. So I wonder what he'll be able to do in like with the Raiders while while he's there. So a lot of people wanted to see him with. Uh, in Green Bay with Aaron Rodgers, but uh, we won't be able to see that now. Tonight's feature matchup, we are the Thunder at the Jazz at 9 p.m. Eastern. Here are your injuries for the Thunder, Richard Solomon, day-to-day -day, uh, for the Jazz. We have Real Neto, he's out. Rick Rubio um, says day-to-day, -day -day, but he's mostly not going to be playing tonight. And Ipe Undo, I hope I said it right. He's dead today. Here are your previous game starters uh, for the Thunder vs. Clippers. We had George, Grant, Adams, Westbrook, and Ferguson. Uh, Jazz at Grizzlies. We had Favors, O'Neal, Inglis, Gobert, and Mitchell. And so possible starters, probably most likely going to be the same thing. There's no lineup changes.
Uh, for your ratings, we have your ratings. Um, this is ranked from highest fantasy point average throughout the season. Um, you'll notice that one of the players who's not going to be playing tonight, Ricky Rubio, he's not going to be playing, so he, he's gonna, not going to be in the top three. Um, somebody you also, you also want to kind of look at um, how players are doing in the previous like five games or three games. And one of those players who was doing really well past couple couple past couple games like that's not um, it's trending away from the uh, their average season average is Kyle Korver. He's performing a lot better than actually Joel Inglis um, these past well, these past couple of games. So mostly be probably probably because of uh, Ricky Rubio is out. So Kyle Korver is seeing a lot more playing time, and that's what is uh, making his fantasy points go up. So here's my winning 16 by FP by 48. Uh, that means is how many fantasy points per minute does a is uh, an expected player going to receive uh, during the match. So every minute, how many points will a single player uh, receive? Uh, so Westbrook is averaging more than one point per minute, while the mostly the league average, you know, is going to be under. You know, one point per minute is um, really close you know it's, it's, it's really uh, uh, kind of like the you know one percent per percentile of the NBA players who are gonna, who are going to be scoring uh, one uh, point above average above than one you know one fantasy point uh, per minute in the NBA so it all, all comes down like how many how many minutes are they playing and how well their performance is uh, throughout the whole match so you see in the top 16 Westbrook, George, Gobert, Mitchell, Adams, English, Schroeder, Favors, Grant, Crowder, Morris, Noel, Corver, O'Neal, Exum, and Ferguson. But in this kind of doesn't show, Corver is a little bit more, I would say, averaging. I don't have uh, the tools yet to show how much they've been performing like within the past like five games. Hopefully, we can get that soon. Um, but Corver is a little bit more up here in this area, but a little bit above English with it Schroeder and Favors. So he's in that percent of about 0.5 uh, fantasy points per minute. Um, that's what he's averaging in the past like five, three, five games. So here's some stats for you. Um, what I like to say is I like to say, you know, by the time I'm finished talking about this, pause it. You can kind of do some research on your own with these stats. Um, I always recommend going to, uh, you know, either basketballreference.com or stats.nba.com, which provide a lot of references uh, for you. You can, you know, control whatever you want to see, whatever you want to, you know, whatever stats you're looking for. You can go there and you'll be able to find out any information that you need. Uh, so I like to look within the past five games. The Thunder are two and three. Jazz are three and two. Both, I would say, the Thunder are kind of being a little bit in, in a funk, I guess. They're just below, a little bit below average, not performing, I think, that what they should be. Um, and Jazz performing about average. Um, let's see. Both scoring around the same, about you know, 112, 111, same, making the same number of field goals, um, but Thunder are putting up a lot more, you know, more attempts. So that shows to me is that usually whenever the team is not is throwing up a lot of uh, uh, field goal attempts, uh, that means they're not playing as much defense throughout the game. Whereas the Jazz are gonna be like the Jazz are able to score this this many average points uh, with playing D. So they're a more defensive team. The the Jazz are so. You get a more defensive team against a more, you know, just the Thunder com compared to the Thunder who are just gonna be throwing it up in the air and seeing where it's going. Whereas the Jazz, you know, the Jazz, as in, like when there's always like you know this huge trend in these days. You've all seen it with the Golden State Warriors just making threes. While both of these teams, you kind of would expect the Thunder to be hitting a little bit more threes. Um, the Jazz are hitting your threes uh, right now, so they got about three. Yeah, they got about three more. Uh, averaging three more made three points three point shots made uh, compared to the Thunder yeah Thunder are doing it with free throws Jazz are doing it with with three points so they're averaging about the same but just different ways all right so here's my draft board going into tonight this is how I organize my uh, fantasy board for uh, for tonight's game uh, one of my side notes is put Kyle Korver in a more important slot over uh, English that's because Korver has been performing a lot better uh, than him uh, so I put him in this top corner. This top corner lines up with Westbrook. Westbrook definitely going to be uh, scoring a lot of points. He always scores a lot of points. Um, so this is a more important line for me. Um, I went the kind of my average. This is my call my average line. You, you got your two, two, 
do too. Um, and everything else is, you know, kind of the way that you want it, just kind of line it up with people who are scoring fantasy points per minute with the same, so line them all up. What do you, how do you think is going, the strategy is going to be going uh, within that night? My other note is that, you know, uh, all is the same in the Thunder world. Every, everybody should be making their averages and stuff. No one, you shouldn't be replacing anybody else with, any, with, you know, with this person. Everyone's doing their job and performing the way that they should. So uh, don't do anything dramatic, dr like drastic, uh, drastic, not Jurassic Park. <laughs> don't don't do anything drastic uh, with your board with the Thunder or with even like even with the Jazz. Just the only thing is just change Carl Corver with Inglis. So maybe last time I would have put Inglis here and Corver here, or somebody else in in this slot. But because I think Carl Corver has been performing a lot well, a lot better as of lately, I would I'm gonna put him in in this X. You know, this is, I always consider these two X's. This is the most important line for me. The second most important line. Everything else is up to you. Um, how you wanna go out with your uh, matchup tonight. So I want to thank everybody for watching tonight's uh, Ranking Ball Preview Show. Uh, you can find us all over social media like Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, and YouTube. Um, if you have any questions or comments, you can leave them, leave them down below. Or you can also ask us on our Telegram or email us at support at rankingball.com. Uh, hope everyone has a good night, and I will see you tomorrow. Bye.